Hey everyone, welcome to Tarot Mystic 11 and 11. This is going to be a general reading um, for the zodiac sign of Gemini and Gemini placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what does Gemini needs to know. Messages for Gemini. If you want to book a personal reading with me, link is provided in the description box below. What does Gemini needs to know? Messages for Gemini. What's the present energy for Gemini? Let's see. Impartiality. Okay. So you being asked to really um, be impartial right now, be balanced in your approach to things or if this is a connection, if this is a relationship, you know, try to maintain that sense of um, um, fairness in your dealings, right? So you have to be impartial, you have to strike a balance and see things for what they are. Don't try to really uh, give one think or one aspect of your life more importance and then ignoring the other so you have to really strike a balance between uh what you want right and then we have soulmate so for some of you this could be a soulmate situation you could be dealing with a soulmate and you're asked to be really i mean be fair in in your dealings with this person you know things um really might not be clear like what's really going on and you might be thinking something else and feeling something else you know so you are advised to be fair be practical and also try to maintain that sense of balance within you right you have to be impartial okay this is for gemini what does gemini needs to know sun moon rising venus messages for gemini What does Gemini needs to know? Messages for Gemini. Present energy for Gemini. We have six of swords. Yeah, so you're moving on, Gemini. That's your energy right there. We have the Knight of Cups. Nine of Cups, Six of Wands, wow, beautiful cards, and we have the Three of Wands. So, a um, lot of Wands here, a little bit of Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Sag, Leo, and then there you are, Six of Swords. Uh, bottom of the deck, we have the Fool, right? So I feel oh, that there is there is something new that, that's lying on the horizon for you, Gemini. And I feel that you can almost feel it in your bones, you know. That something new is about to come your way. A new chapter is unfolding for you. There are new beginnings um, that's, you know, that lies ahead for you. But it's it's all about taking that leap of faith. But are you ready for it? That's the question. Are you ready to take the risk? And this could also be, you know, in regards to a situation, in in regards to a relationship. And this person has really got to you. I mean, they're on your nerves and this person is somebody that you cannot get over uh, from. And, you know, it's it's almost like you just can't stop thinking about this person because they're your soulmate, <laughs> right? Also, you could be dealing with an Aries here or somebody with a strong Aquarius in their chart. But with a Fool card, I feel that when the fool card appears you know it's 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 asking you to take a leap of faith it's asking you to risk whatever lies ahead you know because if we don't risk um if you don't take a risk then we don't know what lies ahead right i mean we we kind of 
want to get stuck in our comfort zone but then the universe always challenges us to move forward you know what universe is always trying to push us to strive for more than what we think we deserve right so the fool card is like it's it's asking you to take a risk but i feel with the four of swords this is your energy i feel gemini you just kind of you just want to take a breather here you just want to take some time out and you're you could be thinking deep going within and you know kind of disconnecting from the outside world and doing a lot of reflection and just you know trying to take it easy you're trying to take it easy you know that um maybe you could also be weighing your pros and cons and thinking like okay fine what if if i take this risk like what are what are the chances what will i lose and what will i gain and stuff like that so i feel this is some sort of a short break for you but then once you're out of this four of swords energy i feel there's a new start that lies ahead for you and a new journey that will actually make you wiser in the end right and then we have the king of wands <laughs> So this, I feel this is the, um, I mean, this could be the energy of the person you're dealing with, the, I mean, a strong Aries, Sag, Leo energy, but I feel this person is really ambitious and a go-getter. They, they, they also could be very passionate about you. There's a lot of passion between you and them, but this person also a little bit, I feel, yeah, they're truly attracted towards you with the nine of pentacles. They find you charming, irresistible. Um, they admire you, they respect you, they put you up on a pedestal, but yeah, there, there's so much of attraction, you know, this person really has hearts for you, okay, yeah, hmm. so I feel, it, this is the single lady card, so if this is your energy, Gemini, I feel you're no more going to be single anymore, I mean, you're you're not going to be single anymore, and I feel there's this person who really is coming after you, and they really want to, you know, they see a future with you, they, uh, and this is your soulmate <laughs> okay so with the six of swords i feel that things are moving forward there's like you know like i said there is a new start that's coming your way and you're moving towards karma waters you know if things have been turbulent off late right now you're just kind of focused on healing yourself you might be just kind of tired and you saying to yourself okay fine you know i know something big is on its way but right now i just want to take some time off and i just want to go um and rest and rejuvenate and take care of myself so that's exactly what you might be doing because after that i see you moving forward right i see things um you're it's it's, it's almost like a transitional phase for you gemini and then you're like you're completely moving forward in a in a, in a you know you're moving forward in a completely new direction right and you're moving toward karma waters and i feel also with the fool card and the six of swords for some of you you could be um literally traveling to a new place or maybe you know um just taking uh some time off and going on a holiday you know just to kind of rejuvenate yourself and um with the knight of cups i do feel that somebody has you know feelings for you and they want to offer you their cup of love but this person i mean I, I feel this this could be also the same energy as the king of wands the same person but uh, i feel that if they're fantasizing about you right now and not really taking any proactive steps to um really you know not taking any action to to make an effort to come towards you but i feel they do have feelings for you this is like you know king knight of cups is like a charmer they're romantic and they have their um they carry their heart on their sleeve and i feel with the nine of cups this person also sees you as their ideal you know somebody that they had manifested you are their wish fulfillment and it's it's just like you know they feel so happy when they think about you and it's and yeah i mean you're just a complete package for this person they they really admire you your confidence the energy your independence you know um this person is head over heels for you i feel and yeah they see you as their as 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 their wish fulfillment and with the six of wands yeah absolutely they they just love your attention this person is coming towards you we have so many travel cards and you know with the knight of cups the six of swords and six of wands i feel somebody is rushing in towards you gemini this is the energy i'm getting here and this has to be your soulmate this is no one ends but your soulmate this is not an ordinary person this is this is somebody you have to you're meant to deal with okay and i feel this person will be 
fair minded very good at making decisions and i feel they just love your attention right and they want to win you over they want to win you over they want to win the situation over and it's just a matter of time i feel with the three of wands again i feel this person is just right around around the corner gemini so if you haven't met your soulmate yet or if you haven't met this person yet i feel they're just kind of you know uh this person is about to enter your life they're coming towards you fast with the 6 of wands and the knight of cups and the 6 of swords 6 6 right and then yeah so i feel this person might be living at a distance from you there could be a physical distance between you and this person and they might be literally traveling towards you right but yeah they they do have i mean marriage on their mind and they do see a future with you definitely a lot of fantasizing i feel this person might also be like drinking and thinking about you somebody who's really really passionate about you <laughs> okay all right so let's see what else does gemini needs to know please clarify this reading for gemini we have the queen of wands wow <laughs> um we have the ace of swords yeah somebody's coming towards you with some sort of an honest communication we have the seven of pentacles this is somebody you had manifested they had manifested you seven of wands and then we have the strength card all right yeah um yeah oh my god <laughs> see bottom of the deck we have the eight of wands so definitely eight of wands represents communication in person emails over text messages you know so this person is definitely um they are coming towards you with some sort of a communication and we've got two communication cards on the table we've got the ace of swords and then we've got the eight of wands so it's 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 damn clear gemini this person is coming towards you they have messages for you they have love offers for you and they're just kind of i feel mustering up their courage and strength because that's something that they lack within themselves maybe they lack the confidence um they really don't know how you're going to react to their their offer how you're going to react when they're going to put their message across you know and they have some issues though they, they i mean it's it's a little bit challenging for this person and i feel they might also be a little bit resisting any sort of forward movement there could be blockages in their way but whatever it is i mean regardless the blockages and everything i feel this person is moving towards you eventually you know because there is communication coming in from this person and it's happening fast it's happening fast uh gemini and um and we see we have we've got the king of wands and then we've got the queen of wands right so this is a divine pair this is this is i just love when my readings come out like this <laughs> this is a soulmate connection gemini you're reading with a soulmate this person brings out the best in you they challenge you to grow and there's so much of physical attraction there's so much of passion the chemistry oof it's your connection is on fire so uh, gemini <laughs> Okay so yeah you could be reading with a fire sign uh Aries Leo Sag but this is your soulmate it's like a divine match you're made for each other and and yeah this person is going to be fair with you this is going to be a balanced connection relationship and this person is you know there's going to be truth if if things have been unclear or things have been really um you know not clear between you and this person i feel soon everything is going to be clear and this person will uh come towards you with some sort of a communication with the uh, ace of is of swords card here okay so they're coming towards you with some sort of an honest communication with an offer of love they're going to um express how they feel for you right is they're just kind of uh maybe waiting for the right time to make that move all right and i feel with the 7 of pentacles I mean it's it's been a it's been really long that you 
you have been patient with this person they have been patient with you and i feel this is also somebody you had manifested and um, also they they also had manifested so you you had manifested each other in this lifetime gemini and now you're you're about to meet this person and they're about to confess their feelings for you like how they how you make them feel right but but i feel with the seven of wands and the strength card i feel this person has a little bit of a self confidence issue here right like i said they might not be sure like how you're going to react when they're going to confess to you how they feel for you and you know it's it's like they're just kind of waiting um maybe for a sign from you that's what i feel so that they can just once you give them a you know a signal or a, or, or once you give them a green signal i feel this person is going to rush in towards you because right now i feel they are dealing with a little bit of a self confidence issues of their own and they don't know like how you might react and but the, this person has got a wild side to them okay like they they might also be a little bit egoistic so they are scared what if you might reject them and you know this might just hurt this person's ego also they're like they're they're totally passionate you know for you i mean <laughs> i think the passion and passion is um the physical side of your connection is 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 um prominent but uh this person i mean yeah they have self confidence issues but they're but they're going to i feel um gather the courage and strength to really move towards you with you know and and confessing their feelings for you right and it's happening fast with the with the eight of wands this is a soulmate connection gemini this is this is beautiful so you're going to be single no more <laughs> okay and there's so much of abundance and so much of um you're attracting like so much of wealth and abundance towards you and it's all happening i feel this is interconnected you know because of your soulmate yeah blessings coming your way gemini all right gemini so that was your reading i hope uh, it resonated with some of you all of you if it did let me know in the comments below please like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on your next one thank you so much for watching